Hey guys, I'm back. So, um, we left off just beating him the second time. Now, don't worry, I have a good idea of remembering of what to do from here on out. Because, of course, we've seen where he's the fourth time, and I swear, the third time is right up in the corner over here. I swear. It, I, I hope. If I'm wrong, and um, so help me that I am dumb. Which I've kind of pointed out at the beginning of this whole series. Is that I'm not the smartest person in the world. But I've played this game enough, and I think I have a pretty good idea. So you want to unlock it, and you got to kill the enemy over here. And then there you go. Let's get another heart. Just want to keep it topped off, you know. And then in here, yes, the free square. Oh my gosh. Yes, I, I found you. I will always find you. There is no escaping me. Nope. And see, so you get a bit better at it. You do that. You go up to him. Wait, wait, get a little bit close. Nope. Hit. Put it down. And be quick on putting it down because you saw the first time I fought him. If you don't put it almost immediately, it, he'll get up before you uh, put it down. See, it's. It, it, even you get practice and you just get super easy to do that's the best thing I could say if you don't if you do die on a boss just practice I know most people want to get that secret ending for not dying that's kind of why I got all these hearts so even if you get hit you can just practice or hit them again like a crazy person it's up to you now this is an item I knew I wanted to come here but I forget what's in oh my god red skulls do like a full heart of damage I believe so not that that's a lot for us, but just, you know, it's a lot for beginners. And there's a map. Thank goodness. Okay. I actually have a pretty dang good idea where to go from here, so you don't have to worry. At least till we get the item. And then after that, I'm not 100% sure where to get the nightmare key, which, you know, is after we get the, the mini item, we've got the compass, the, the map now. So really the only thing we need is the item in the night. Oh my gosh, nightmare key. And yes, I, I'm running. I'm running fast. I'm not. No holds barred. You guys can see where I'm going if you absolutely have to. Always rewind the video. That's always an option. Never has not been. Okay. And we're going back down. It's, remember, it's all the way at the beginning, pretty much, and to the left of the beginning of a dungeon. I'm going to go straight ahead. Okay. And a lot of things will open up once we get this last item, and this, the, the dungeon item. Not just in the, well, a lot in the dungeon, but a whole bunch of open outside. Like I said, we're going to do the entire trading quest after this, all right? And that should also net us enough rupees to buy the arrow. And then, uh, with that, we should be good. So, I mean, once we get the arrow, I'll probably put that in the video with starting to get to the sixth dungeon. Because believe it or not, we haven't had to collect keys in a while. Let me pause for a moment. As you can see, we've got three keys for three different dungeons, but there's two more slots. That means two more dungeons will require keys. And after this one, there's only three more dungeons. Oh, here we are. I'll get, we'll talk more about that after we beat this guy. He's not even gonna talk this time, he's scared. And now, I do believe his new thing, if you can stay close to him, there's no problem, but if he gets far away, he will jump at you. So just do that. That is his last new tactic. He only does it for the fourth fight. I think if you stay really far away earlier, he will do it, but he'll do it even if you're not that far now. So just and It's not hard to dodge, just keep moving and you'll be good, actually. So, yeah. And I think that's it, yep. Goodbye! And he will never show up again because he is a horrible, dumb skeleton. And this, this is the hook shot! Yay! So, literally... I'll show you how it works. We don't really need bombs anymore right now. You hook. And most things it won't hook to, of course. But this, well, not that, that's a crystal. I'll, I'll give an example. It hooks to chest, hooks to squares, and see, it pulls you to it. It's very cool, and it's super duper duper useful. Heck, almost every dungeon from here on out, including this one, will actually have some requirements for it. One of the, it's just, in my opinion, it's the second coming of the feather. It's as useful as that. That's how useful it is. So, like, we've used a jump mechanic for most of the game. Heck, we have it equipped almost all the time. This, in normal circumstances, will be the second item equipped. Okay? So, do that. Get what's in here. And, oh my gosh! Yes, I'm happy! That's why we went that, because we, we need to get about 300 more rupees. 302 more rupees before we do the sixth dungeon. And don't worry, after that, I don't... No, actually... 
in total, if we're just getting the items we need, we need 300 for the arrow, and then we'll need 300 more, so 600 in total, to get a song. And with that, we can get to the seventh dungeon, and then there will be no. Then after the seventh dungeon, there's no more reason to ever worry about getting rupees. Now, I gotta find the big key. This is actually where I'm a bit lost. I'll be honest, I'm a bit lost. Let's check here. We need to go. In my opinion, I think it'll be safe to go over here because there's free chests. One of them has to have a big key. If not, they're all gonna have rupees. And that's just as good in my opinion. Having a lot of rupees is just as good as getting a big key because we're gonna need it anyway. So we go down here and see we couldn't really do anything without the hook. Aha! Uh -huh. Not what I wanted, but also what I wanted. So works out. And then we couldn't get here, of course. And this is a small key. This is actually kind of what we need to get to the big key. I remember now. One of the doors, you do need a key. Uh, and see, this also pulls those. It pulls them. And I bet you remember. I remember where we need to go. So we got that again. And we're going to go back. I wonder if we can... Nope, we can't. So we need to find... Oh, gosh. Uh... Oh, we just we just, we just just go all the way around. It's, it actually makes you go around. Because you can't go back that way. Oh, my... How could you? That's horrible. Okay. No. Stop it. Bad job. See, normally I pick the red tunic because that way I'm killing enemies a lot faster. But I just wanted to challenge myself with a green tunic. So, yeah. Now we go down here. And then we're going to go back this way. Okay. And then down here. It's, it's a lot of backtracking. It's a lot of dungeons from here on out will have a decent amount of backtracking. Although I think the seventh dungeon is just really confusing. The eighth dungeon has a decent amount of backtracking, but it's all manageable. Like you know when to backtrack, unlike I did at the beginning of this, sadly. And haha, fairy. We already have two bottles worth still. Right here. We want to unlock this. Okay. And here's the uh, another mini boss. It's not necessarily the mini boss mini boss but it's a mini boss so you wait you should they shoot they're called gomas and one of them's eye will be open the other one won't be so we gotta okay i'm trying to figure out which one i want to hit and you use the hook shot for it so you have to fight these guys anyway afterwards there you go and then you hit them they have about six health i think so you have to let them attack so let them move and then pretty easy they're pretty slow with their attack Oh dang, nine hits. That's a lot of health. He charges. You have to wait for the eye attack though, which means he kinda like he does that, see? You know he's gonna eye him and you do that. Thirteen hits, alright. Not too bad. Aha. But as you can see, I call them mini mini bosses when there's two of them, like the worms from earlier. The dongos, I believe, are called in this game. You can only get up to six hits, it seems, per time. No. Bad. It's pretty easy, pretty simple. It's only hard when there's two of them. Although, it does, it's kind of annoying when there's only one, because then they're taking a good minute. But I think if you stay back, if you stay back, they'll actually have a higher chance of shooting the green ball. So stay back. Never mind. I'm actually going to stay close so I can get in there and hit him next time. Kind of frustrating, I won't lie. Although I think if you're just not in front of him. Okay, stay over here. He shouldn't hit me. Yeah, over here. Dang it. Dang you, Goma. You were very frustrating and time consuming. Come on. Maybe I can block? Yeah, I can. Okay, just block it and just hit him. Man, I am just not... I'm learning a lot today. Learning stuff I didn't know. I've played this game about a good five times. This is pretty cool. So... Again, this is the Switch version, so it's a bit different. Maybe that's why I'm in trouble. There you go. And they're defeated. And the second one, you know, when you beat it, you get a fairy. Again, I have full fairies, so we'll go in here. We'll go in this weird staircase. And... Oh, here's something I want to show you. See that up there? Press up to look, and there you go. 
it's how you get up places. And it's actually kind of necessary right here. There you go. I'll go up here. And where will we end up? That's the question. Uh, this is where we need another small key. And, um... Actually, I thought we need a small key. And I think that's about it. We need a small key to get in here to get to the boss. So now, but we got the hook shot. So now I know where to go to get the rest. Okay, I'm going to end the video here. And we'll finish it next time. Because I know exactly where to go. Heck, we'll probably start the trading quest a little bit in the next video. Okay, see you guys. Bye.